Good morning. Uh, today I found something in Nahum, uh, chapter 1, and it's going to be the first part of verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and the Lord will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. So this, I take assurance in this first part of this verse because... A lot of times we see bad things, bad people uh, have all the success, you know, get all the good things in life, and uh, uh, that we what well, we consider the good things in life. Let's let's get this straight. But the world considers good things in life, you know, money, fame, fortune, whatever. Um, but you guys have to remember just because the unrighteous are the ones who truly don't want to have to do anything with God and do what they want and they don't care who it hurts or how it hurts they will be judged in the end God won't let them just have a free pass their fate is it's far, far worse than what what ours will be. Um, and there's sadly, there's some folks that will never be able to be turned from that. But does that mean we should stop from trying? Um, at some point, I think... We are told to make sure we're not throwing our pearls among swine in the New Testament somewhere. Um, I mean, basically all we can do is present the gospel, share the gospel to others. It's up, th it's up to them to accept it and to receive it, to grasp and take hold of it. Uh, our job is just to present it to them. And if they choose to live the life that they, the way that they're living, they choose not to follow God. And they choose to do the things they want to do, no matter who it hurts or how it hurts. Uh, other people, families, nations, whatever. The Lord, it says right here, will punish the guilty. No matter what. And... It's just amazing how our God, who could just wipe us out just like that, he's slow to anger. He's full of love and compassion for us. He doesn't want us to suffer. He doesn't want us to be separated from him. And so, plus, in these situations that we are placed in, uh, he is looking for us to rely on him, to pray on to pray. For his guidance, for his help, and his support. And to repent. And to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. To accept the gospel. And, um, and for us not to fret over those who refuse to listen to the gospel. To listen to the truth about salvation. He won't let them go unpunished. So just pray for them, obviously, because we're to love our enemies. And anybody who's against God is against us, thereby is our enemy. But still, we are to pray for them, irregardless, because we're about love. We're not about doing what we want to do. We're about doing what God wants to do. So with that, I'll let you go. Uh, have a good day. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.